A note at your words, uh, Deputy Martin, reckless, oblivious, devoid of responsibility, dismissive of authority and no moral compass. Towards the end of your comments you made, you only mentioned the word truth once. Now what we need is to get at the truth here. Because we have to remember that while it's easy to be shocked and, uh, and, and absolutely angry about what's going on here and about the revelations that are emerging from very extensive tapes, I understand. We should remember, Deputy Martin, who the victims are in this case. And the victims are the tens of thousands of families, ordinary people around this country, who became victims of the axis of collusion between Anglo-Irish Bank and Fianna Fáil and the bankers in general, to inflate the property business, to buy their houses at inflated mortgages and inflated prices, and find that when this crash happened, they have been left devoid, devoid of their business, devoid of their incomes, and mortgaged to the hilt for the next generation. That's what we need to find out, Deputy Martin. And we've had, we've had inquiries into this already. We've had inquiries in secret. We had the Nyberg inquiry, which went on after the bank guarantee, which nobody here knew anything about until it was completed. And you weren't able to have any political accountability. Because remember who were the guardians of what's contained in our constitution at that time. It was the elected government which operated with the central bank and with the regulator, which became light touch regulation. This was the government that sat down time after time with the bankers and had hail fellow well met uh, occasions. This was the government that allowed that culture to actually function, Deputy Martin. And it's no wonder that you would say, yes, of course, have another inquiry in secret here that could drift on for years. We had 14 years of Moriarty and, and Mahan. Nobody uh, went to court. Sorry, we're just now, quiet, the point please. here. Thank you. The point Thank Deputy you. Martin is. The point, Deputy Martin, is this. We have a criminal trial due to commence next year. Criminal trial where charges have been laid against a number of individuals. We had a referendum of the people to have specific uh, inquiries and the people rejected that. We're now processing legislation with the Minister for Public Expenditure through the Dáil and through the Shannon. And I believe that it is absolutely imperative that we get on with the terms of reference for such committee and that it deal insofar as it can deal, and it may well be challenged, in terms of political accountability to find out after 10 years of incompetence how come that this decision was actually uh, put on government or government were duped into it by what we hear from emerging revelations. It's that culture, Deputy Martin, that we need to find out what went on here, who was involved. Let's get at the truth. So let's, and I'll ask for your cooperation in this. Let us put through the, the legislation dealing with inquiries. Let's have the Shannon reschedule their, their agenda to have this finished by the end of this Dáil session. And let's put that inquiry in place. And let's have the people who were in government with yourself over the years write their recollections of what happened on the lead up to the bank guarantee. The discussions that took place. The conversations that took place. The decisions that were made or that were not made. Why is it that in the Department of the Taoiseach in this day and age there is no record of the conversations between bankers and those who were in government in the Department of the Taoiseach about this matter. When tens of thousands of people are out there with their families having emigrated because of what these boys did in these banks, aided and abetted with the culture of a government that was arrogant, that was contemptuous, and that said, if you think that the housing bubble is Sorry, going to burst, just then go quiet, and commit please. suicide. This is I think, Deputy questions. Martin, Thank you. we need now to focus on what happened here. We need to find out what the truth is. And we'll start that process by having a parliamentary inquiry with a specific set of terms of reference that will go back before this guarantee was brought in, because that's where the damage was done, the infusion into that culture. Of a, of, a, of a system that allowed this to happen and that has confined the next generation to one of repaying for the, for the carry-on of, uh, of people involved in this circle, some of which we've had revealed on the national airwaves in the last two days. Yes, but I would assume that it would have the uh, moral authority to call former politicians of influence and of political office uh, to that parliamentary inquiry uh, to give their recollections and their uh, accounts of what happened on the lead-in 
to the bank guarantee being given. I, quite, I, assume, I assume that, that your, uh, the, our predecessors here and people who served with you in high office uh, and in those governments would have the opportunity and would have the willingness, I would assume, uh, to come to a parliamentary inquiry and can say, can you explain why this was allowed to happen? Can you explain as a government, Sorry, you can you explain as a government why, it was, why it was that a government uh, appointed somebody to, to uh, head, up, um, head up a report group that separated central bank from regulators and that introduced light touch regulation in the first place? Can, can you explain why it was that all of these occasions were taking place between bankers and high, of, uh, high members of government, uh, what were discussed at all these things. This is what the uh, culture has led to, where the decision was made, and the, 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 the tapes that we've listened to and heard on the national airwaves were after the bank guarantee was made, after the bank guarantee. Yes, we stop trying to we had NIBER, which was held Thank in you. private, which dealt with after the bank guarantee. We need Deputy Martin to have a public parliamentary inquiry Shh, with a specific please. set of terms of reference to deal with finding out the truth insofar as we can. Now, as I said to you, what the people want Deputy to know Shaw out there, Hall, would you the please people want to know commenting. when you. justice is going to be done. We're going, you have, also we're going to have a criminal Deputy trial Martin. with a judge and jury, and that takes its own course. This government extended the period of office of the Director of Corporate Enforcement in the preparation of his report. Thank you. The Gardaí have Thank done their job. That has all been sent to the DPP. I understand that books of evidence are being prepared and all of that, and that process takes its own independent course. We need to find out in this House who were the masters at that time, who was supposed to be in charge of the country. It was the government and we haven't a scrap of evidence about who visited whom, what was said, why were decisions not recorded, were decisions, was there a decision taken not to record any of this, uh, why was it that this culture erupted. You were part of that environment. I'm not suggesting that you were involved directly in any of this, Deputy Martin, but you were a member of government. You were a member of government. The people out there are entitled to know why you had incorporeal meetings at three o'clock in the morning. The people out there are entitled to know, Account Cola, the political environment in which all of these agents, if you like, the banks were agents of the government. And the issue was keep the property bubble booming, keep those prices up, keep those people out there having mortgages that they can't pay Sorry, back for very many them. years. And when the whole lot went over the edge, here we are, and now evidence coming out on the airwaves of the comments and the attitude, and the attitude, the arrogance, and the condescending way that people were treated as pawns in a game. We need to find out the truth of that. Deputy when this Brown, legislation goes through here, we'll start that process at a parliamentary forum.